By the end of this 15 minute video, you'll be able to navigate DaVinci Resolve, edit your videos and export them to share with the world. Just follow along. Today we're exploring the interface to help you feel right at home. Let's dive in. When you open DaVinci Resolve, you'll start in the project manager. Think of this as your workspace hub. Click new project, give it a name and you're ready to begin. At the bottom of the screen, you'll see several icons. These are the different pages, each designed for a specific part of your editing journey. Let's quickly go through them. First is the media page where everything starts. This is where you import your videos, music and other assets. It's like a digital library where you organize your files before jumping into editing. Next is the cut page, which is great for quick no fuss edits. It's streamlined and fast. Ideal if you're working on short videos or need to make basic cuts. Then there's the edit page, the heart of DaVinci Resolve. This is where you'll spend most of your time. It's packed with tools for trimming, arranging clips, adding transitions and more. Perfect for creating polished, professional edits. Now, the Fusion page. This one is for the creatives. It's where you can add advanced visual effects and motion graphics. Think text animations, particles or even 3D effects. The color page is a game changer. Whether you want to tweak the brightness, fix colors or give your footage a cinematic look, this is where it all happens. You've got tools like color wheels, curves and even lutites to make your videos stand out. The Fairlight page is all about sound. From adjusting volume levels to cleaning up background noise or adding effects, this page helps you get your audio just right. Finally, there's the Deliver page. This is where you export your video. Whether it's for YouTube, Instagram or a client project, you'll set your file format, resolution and other export settings here. Now let's talk about the key areas of the interface on the edit page. As I told earlier that edit page is the heart of DaVinci Resolve where we will spend most of our time for video editing. On the top left there's the media pool, your library for all imported assets. In the center is the viewer where you can preview everything as you edit. Below that is the timeline, your workspace for arranging and trimming clips. On the right you'll find the inspector panel. Select a clip and this panel lets you tweak settings like size, position and rotation. Above the timeline, you'll see tools like the blade and selection tools which make editing quick and easy. And that's your DaVinci Resolve interface. Each page is designed to handle a specific part of the editing process, making it a powerful all-in-one tool. Importing and organizing your media in the edit page. This might sound simple, but getting organized early will save you a ton of time later. Let's get started. First, open your project and go to the edit page. On the top left, you'll see the media pool. This is your home base for everything you'll use in your video, your clips, images, and audio files. To import your media, right click anywhere in the media pool and select Import Media. Navigate to the folder where your files are stored, select them, and hit Open. Boom, your files are now ready to use. If you prefer, you can also drag and drop your files directly from your computer into the media pool. Quick and easy. Now, let's get organized. You can create bins in the media pool to keep everything neat. Just right click, choose add bin and give it a name. For example, you could have separate bins for footage, music and images. Then simply drag and drop your files into the right bin. And that's it. You've successfully imported and organized your media, setting yourself up for a smooth editing process. The timeline. Understanding how to navigate it efficiently is key to editing faster and smarter. Let's dive in. First, let's look at the timeline. It's at the bottom of the edit page and serves as your workspace where you arrange and edit your clips. To zoom in and out of your timeline, simply use the slider that is available here or hold Alt key or option key on your keyboard and scroll with your mouse wheel. This is super handy when you need to see the big picture or zoom in for precise edits. If you want to move around the timeline, click and drag the scroll bar below or hold control key or command key and use the scroll wheel 
to pan horizontally. Now, let's talk about playhead control. The playhead is the vertical line that shows where you are in your project. Drag it manually or use the spacebar to play and pause your video. And finally, don't forget the track height adjustment. If you are working with lots of tracks, you can adjust their size by dragging the divider between the tracks and the timeline ruler or use the shift plus scroll shortcut to quickly resize them and there you have it, a quick guide to navigating the timeline in DaVinci Resolve. Mastering these basics will make your editing process much smoother. Basic trimming techniques. If you want your edits to flow smoothly, learning to trim clips is an absolute must. Let's jump right in. First, make sure you're on the edit page. Once your clips are on the timeline, you're ready to start trimming. Let's begin with the selection tool. This is your go-to for quick trims. Click the edges of a clip and drag inward to shorten it or outward to extend it. You'll see a preview in the viewer as you trim, making it easy to pick the perfect spot. Next up is the blade tool. Press B on your keyboard or select the blade icon from the toolbar. This tool lets you split a clip at any point. Just click where you want the cut, switch back to the selection tool, press A and you can move, delete or trim each section separately. Now, let's talk about the trim edit mode. Press T on your keyboard or click the trim edit icon. This tool is perfect for fine tuning. Dragging the edge of a clip in this mode, adjust the trim without leaving gaps in your timeline. It's seamless and that's it. With these basic trimming techniques, you'll be able to cut and refine your videos like a pro. Whether you're resizing, repositioning or adding a touch of flair, the inspector panel has all the tools you need. Let's dive in. First, make sure you're in the edit page. To open the inspector panel, click on the inspector button in the top right corner of the screen. Once it's open, select any clip in your timeline and you'll see its settings pop up in the panel. Let's start with the transform controls. Here, you can adjust the position, zoom, rotation and anchor point of your clip. Want to zoom in? Drag the zoom slider or type in a specific value. Need to reposition your clip? Adjust the X and Y values under position to move it horizontally or vertically. Next, let's look at cropping. Scroll down in the inspector and you'll see options to crop from the left, right, top or bottom. Cropping is perfect for removing unwanted areas or creating a split screen effect. Now, for the opacity setting. This lets you make your clip semi-transparent. Great for overlays or blending multiple clips. Simply drag the slider to adjust how visible your clip is. Here's a pro tip. If you ever want to reset a setting, just click the circular arrow next to it and it will snap back to default. And there you have it. The inspector panel is a powerful tool for making precise adjustments to your clips. Adding and adjusting transitions in the edit page. Transitions are a great way to make your edits smoother and more professional. Let's get started. First, make sure you are on the edit page and have at least two clips placed next to each other on your timeline. Transitions are applied between clips to create a smooth visual flow from one to the next. If you add a transition, head to the effects library on the top left of the screen, click on video transitions and you'll see a variety of options like cross dissolve, fade to color and wipe. To apply a transition, simply drag it from the library and drop it onto the cut between two clips in the timeline. Once added, you'll see the transition as a shaded area on the timeline. Want to adjust the duration? Click on the edges of the transition and drag to make it shorter or longer. You can also right click on the transition and select change duration to input an exact time. To customize the transition further, select it and open the inspector panel. Here you can tweak settings like style, angle and easing for many transitions. For example, with a cross dissolve, you can adjust the smoothness to suit your clip. And that's it. Adding and adjusting transitions in DaVinci Resolve is super simple and a great way to level up your edits. Adding text and titles to your videos, whether you're creating captions, intros or lower thirds, DaVinci Resolve makes it easy. Let's get started. 
First, make sure you are in the edit page. Head to the FX library located in the top left corner of the screen. Once there, click on the titles category. You'll find a range of options including simple text, lower thirds and cinematic title templates. To add a title, drag and drop one of these options directly onto your timeline above your video clip. If you just want basic text, select the text option. For something more dynamic, try text plus which opens up more advanced customization options with which you'll have access to fusion based controls that we will learn later in this course. Once your title is on the timeline, select it and open the inspector panel. Here you can edit the text, choose a font, adjust size and tweak colors. Scroll down in the inspector for more styling options. Here you can adjust the stroke value and also adjust different settings that are available for dropping a shadow. To adjust the duration of your title, drag the edges of the title clip in the timeline. You can also layer multiple title clips for complex designs like combining text with a background element. If you want to give a nice intro fade in animation, simply drag the sliders available on the text layer to add smooth transitions. And that's it. Adding and customizing titles in DaVinci Resolve is quick and easy, whether you need something simple or cinematic. Adjusting volume and muting audio. Whether you want to fine tune your audio levels or completely silence a clip, I've got you covered. Let's dive in. First, make sure you're on the edit page and have an audio clip or a video with audio on your timeline. To adjust the volume, click on the audio clip in the timeline. You'll notice a white horizontal line running through the middle of the clip. This is the volume control line. Drag it up. To increase the volume or down to decrease it, you'll see the decibel level change as you adjust. For more precise control, select the clip and open the inspector panel. Under the audio section, you'll find the volume slider. Use this to fine tune your audio levels. You can also manually input a specific dB value for exact adjustments. If you want to gradually increase or decrease the volume, you can add keyframes. Hold Alt key on your keyboard or option on Mac and click on the volume line in the timeline to add keyframes. Move these points up or down to create fades or other dynamic volume changes. To mute an audio clip, simply select the clip, open the inspector panel and drag the volume slider all the way to the left, effectively muting the clip. Alternatively, you can mute an entire audio track by clicking the small M mute button on the track header on the left side of the timeline and that's it adjusting volume and muting audio in davinci resolve is simple yet it can make a huge difference in the quality of your edits we are tackling the crucial step of exporting your video let's jump in once your project is ready head over to the deliver page you'll find it at the bottom of the interface as the last icon on the toolbar on the left side You'll see preset options for platforms like YouTube, Vimeo, and more. These are perfect for quick exports. Select one, adjust the resolution or frame rate if needed, and you're set. For more control, use the custom export option. Start by naming your file and choosing the location where to save it. Then select the format, such as MP4 or QuickTime, and choose a codec like H264 for smaller file sizes or 8265 for better compression. Adjust the resolution and frame rate to match your project settings. Make sure the render is set to entire timeline option to export the entire timeline or the other option to export just the portion you need. Once everything is set up, click add to render queue in the bottom. Your project will move to the render queue panel on the right. When you are ready, hit render all and DaVinci Resolve will process your video and save it to the selected location and there you have it you've successfully exported your video ready to share with the world if this tutorial was helpful don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell for more quick and easy davinci resolve tips